Billy, congratulations now that it's all, all done and uh, that you are a St Kilda person as of as of today. Uh, what's that feel to you right now? Uh, thanks, Damo. Look, to be honest, you know, very uh, very relieved. It's a, it's a stressful, oh, you know, few weeks for, for everyone, I guess, involved. So, um, you know, I was just uh, very, very elated with, you know, how, how the result is and, yep. uh, yeah, and pretty pretty excited to, to move on and, yeah, get stuck into it with, with St Kilda. We won't, won't weigh this chat down with the, the past because you, you can't control it anymore. But, and Terry Wallace will ask you about the future. But just chrono chronologically, you uh, made the decision to leave Brisbane, which was uh, well in the, in the offing for some time. Felt you were going to Hawthorne. And I just heard the press conference there and you alluded to a bit of disappointment there. Let's just stop there for the moment. Uh, you felt that was done to a point, did you? Um, t yeah, to be honest, I mean, you know, I thought that, you know, I, I had a good chat with, uh, with Hawthorne and, you know, I, I thought that that was the way that, you know, things will pan out, but, you know, as, as it turns, um, you know, I created another opportunity to St Kilda and uh, I couldn't be more happy. Yeah. Is the home factor important to you? I mean, uh, I was just sort of saying before you come on air, I've had a pretty uh, decent association with the Northern Knights all over the years and uh, uh, obviously, yeah, you come through that uh, that system. Um, was the, the drag to come back to home and family and everything else important or was it just more football opportunity for you? Uh, look, to be honest, it was, it was a bit of both. I mean, um, you know, home was definitely a, a catalyst in it. Um, but, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't have wanted to, to come down to um, Melbourne if it would have, you know, hindered my, uh, I guess, development as a, as a ruckman, as, you know, a footballer. So, um, you know, it was, yeah, it was just, I guess, sort of weighing up the options and, uh, you know, having a... Having a talk to, to Scotty and the, the guys at St Kilda, I was just, uh, you know, very excited at, you know, the prospect and, um, you know, where they're heading. So, you know, I thought it would be a, a great opportunity to, uh, to be involved with. Well, they have put a, a, a good core of, of players together and I've given them one of the, uh, the real tick-offs for what they've done over this period of time and being able to deliver all you guys to the footy club. It's going to have a really new, fresh look about it and, uh, yeah, group of guys all around your age structure as well. Yeah, no, look, it's it, very uh, very exciting for me. I think, you know, it's, it's a developing club and, you know, there will be a lot of young players, but I think, you know, me being a developing ruckman, I think it's just a, a great a great place to, to start my, well, to continue my football and uh, to progress to progress with in the, for the coming years. What did Scotty say to you about you know, your role and your, your position in the footy club? Did he sort of get into much depth about any of that? Um, look, to be honest, he, you know, we, we sort of touched on, um, you know, eventually being that... Uh, that first ruck whenever whenever the day is but you know I, I know it's you know we want we want to make a role you know between me and and Hickey as well to to, ch to share that load and um, you know and he's, and he's got a few strategies in, in place to to be able to enable that you know with the two rucks um, yeah it's, it's about it yeah all you can address is is uh, your own individual circumstances and that you had your reasons and you addressed it really well in the press conference there as to why you left but as a collective when five high draft picks want to leave the one footy club but uh, it presents a, a message to the outside world that all is not well just if you can just repeat yeah. and, and go over again why it is that you're leaving okay. the, the Brisbane Lions yeah um, yeah, I, t I touched on it before because all the, all the guys do it's, it's not one sort of set reason um, you know it's, it's, it's a you know, different reasons for everyone and you know for, for me personally um, you know I, I just thought you know, being home with the, you know, with the support networks of sort of your family and friends was was definitely one reason. Along with, you know, I wanted to be able to, um, you know, keep improving my chances to play uh, consistent senior football. And, you know, I thought that just in the in the way that the Lions were with with Lundberg in such great form, you know, it sort of really made it hard to to be able to, um, you know, contest that number one ruck position. And um, and yeah, that's that's just that's, off the back of that. Uh I found it amazing that they picked you up. I mean, I thought you were absolutely red in the draft around the, the uh, time that you should have gone, yep. but I just found it amazing that they were the club to pick you up with Lewenberger there already and established, and they, they had picked him as an, a, you know, a top-end first-round pick. Were you surprised at the time that it was Brisbane? Um, to be honest, I, I'm not really sure what, what my like. You know, I was just excited to, yeah. to be picked up by a team, so yeah. I can't really comment that far. But um, you know, I, the way I saw it, you know, I was really hopeful that it would be like a you know a dual ruck role. But you know, it's just and, and you know, it's, there's no sort of hard feelings either way. Because, um, but you know, it just sort of 
um, the way Brisbane was, they needed just the one rock, uh, yeah. one rock roll for those two years. So it's it was hard to, to fit in. Yeah. St Kilda has lost a, a great uh, during this period with Nick Del Sando exiting, but there's still a couple there. And the captain Nick Revold has he uh, made contact with you at the, any stage of the past 48 hours? Uh, not not yet. Um, but you know my phone's open if he if he wants to. But um, no, it's it's no, it's all good. I'm, I mean I'm just yeah I'm really excited. You know there's a lot of young boys in there. A few that I you know played. At the Northern Knights with you know yep. Jack Noons and so yep. it's you know just pretty exciting to, to be amongst it and to, to get started I suppose. And when do you start officially? Uh, I think it's in the six, so you know not too long, yeah, yeah. not too long at all. Yeah. We can tell that you're excited and uh, and well done. I mean obviously yeah, the, the, the disappointment uh, initially uh, by way of Hawthorne not uh, being able to get you there, but uh, it's it's tempered certainly, and I'd say uh, it doesn't matter now because you're going to be a, yeah. an AFL footballer for St Kilda and and, uh, and probably first ruck I'd imagine Thanks. round one next year. And welcome to AFL footy because that's what <laughs> the <laughs> trade period's about. You never know where it's going to go. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks, Billy. Cheers. Billy Longer there, Terry, coming to join us in the trade radio booth here at Etihad Stadium. And uh...